Hi, my name is Danny Gans, and I'd like to introduce you to Squid. Squid is a no-code drag-and-drop transformation platform that allows you to combine data from multiple sources within your org to create applications, pages, and reports tailored to your specific business needs. Or put another way, Squid is a scalable kit for user interface design. Why does Squid exist? Because this is what typical enterprise software expects from its users. Enterprise software is built for the masses, although no two businesses are truly alike. So we feel that your tools should adapt to you, not the other way around. That means making business software that works the way people do. Squid recognized that enterprises need to create better experiences for the humans that work within them, engaging, intuitive, and personalized experiences that make it easier for your team to perform its job, whether it's by reducing the number of clicks needed to complete an effort, anticipating and proactively guiding users through processes, or joining data from multiple systems onto a single screen. You can think of Squid as a single system of engagement within your organization. It's fair to say that most organizations have lots of different technologies within their landscape, not just one system from one single vendor. So what that means is that most business users have several different user interfaces that they need to log into to perform their job. With Squid, you could bring all the data from all those different systems together and unify it into one system of engagement, one system of entry for all your business users. Anything that has an API we can connect to and expose the data into Squid. The data will always remain where it lives and Squid is never gonna store that data. We're just accessing it in real time when the user runs the application. This means Squid allows you to build on your existing investment, taking out of the box software and expanding what's possible within that box, so to speak. Now I'm gonna just walk you through two quick demonstrations of how Squid can help. First, I'm gonna talk about how Squid can be used to make quick changes. Maybe your user community, someone requests a change that would typically need to go through your IT request process, be vetted, built into the backlog, finally developed, tested, deployed. It can take forever. With Squid, we can even have business users make those changes, and I'll show you how easy that is. Uh, second, I want to talk about how Squid can be considered a lightning super component and how Squid apps can simply be installed within a existing Lightning page to expand the functionality of Lightning. So let's check it out. Okay, so our first example, we wanna make a quick change to a page. This is an app that's built on top of Salesforce. This is Squid showing a sales team all the information that they need to do their job. They've got the ability to filter, find the data that they want, drill into any data, but We've had some feedback from our users that instead of searching just by quarter, we want to be able to search more granularly. So we want to be able to search by any range of dates. In a traditional environment, that would take code. You'd have to go through that process to get it updated. With Squid, this is just one simple example of how Squid can make it easy. We've got a filter set that comes out of the box. We say we want to add a new one. And then we just define the properties. This is gonna be a date range. We just wanna look at the close date field and save. I go back to preview. And now I have a working filter with a date range here. So I can say, hey, just show me those opportunities between June 1st and today. Done, apply, and it will now update responsively to that. Squid has dozens of those components, like the filter set, I'm showing them in the top left here, that help declaratively without code configure web applications, uh, mobile applications, and sites so that you do not need IT to perform updates or iterations as you refine your processes. Squid allows these changes to be made with clicks rather than code, which dramatically accelerates the delivery time. And now for my next example, I'd like to show how we can use Squid as a super component of Lightning to extend the native capability. So you see here uh, an opportunities page in Salesforce. This is a nice Lightning page. We've got the details, but we want to add a tab here for tasks to be added to the opportunity. And as luck would have it, we have that great task process built out in Squid where we've got a list of those tasks. We've got a nice pop-up form that allows me to walk through and create these tasks, but I want this squid capability to be in Lightning. Well, it's this easy. 
if I go into the Lightning Composer here, the App Builder, just as I could drag any out of the box components from Lightning, I can also see down here that Squid Page has been added as a custom managed component to extend Lightning. So I wanna just have a new tab that uh, we call Tasks. And in this Tasks tab, we're just gonna drag this Squid Page, and then all we need to do is tell it where to point. And the name of that page is Create Activity Wizard. And now when I save it, and I go back to this opportunity in Lightning, I'll see that exact same page here with all the Lightning components. I see a Tasks tab here. And in this Tasks tab, I am going to have the Squid component where any existing tasks would show up. And I can click Add Task. And now that Squid form is going to show up. All right, so there you have it. Two quick demonstrations of a couple ways that Squid can help rapidly make changes to existing applications and also extend the functionality of Lightning. Because enterprise software is a universal issue, we've helped thousands of customers, large enterprises, small companies, nonprofits, uh, any industry, any use case. We were working here with Salesforce data in a sales application, but that's just one example. It's data and use case agnostic. We'll look forward to working with you and thanks a lot for taking the time to learn about Squid.